happy Friday. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. So glad you could join me. Hop on, say hi, and let me know where you're from so that I can see your comments and say hello. So let me just grab my glasses first here. I got Friday, Friday hair. <laughs> Hop on, say hi. Again, RoseWardStampersDelight.com. We are going to get started shortly. Good morning, Maureen. Good morning, Meg. How are you today? So, so glad you could all join me. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. And I am drinking coffee this morning. Okay, so a couple of things we got going on. want everybody to remember that anyone that's been placing orders from March 19th, to um, Sunday, the 28th, I believe it is. Next Monday on my YouTube live channel, I will be giving away the second mini embossing machine. I will be pulling a name live from everybody that placed orders from the 19th uh, to the 28th. Okay, good morning, Deb. Good morning, Trudy. Hi, Elizabeth. Hey, Stacy. Okay, so I am going to flip the camera. going to tell you a couple of things. So let's get started. Okay, so other than the embossing machine uh, giveaway, I want to remind everybody, well, let's do this first. Host code for the month, if your order is less than $150, if it's more than $150, don't use that. You want to get the hostess rewards points. Stampersdelight.com, you can go there and um, shop with me online. Just make sure when you check out that it shows that you are still uh, shopping with me. I know there's been some glitches where... It switches demonstrators, and you don't want that to happen. Any questions, just email me. Okay. And here we go. So if you saw my blog or my Facebook um, page, we do have the Last Chance products. Now, I do want to explain a couple little things about this because it can be a little confusing. On here, you have all the things that look like they're going to be uh, retired. Okay, and then they have these little marks here. And if you read the last page, it says, you know, hostess set, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Bundles include some products which are not retiring. So there may be a bundle or a suite that shows retiring, but not everything is. Okay, so you really got to check those little, ex um, you know, those little marks. <laughs> Can't think of what they are this morning. Um and the third one, of course, is uh, while these items are in bundles, they are not retiring, they lo no longer are in a bundle. So what does that mean in a nutshell? For instance, Ice Cream Corner Collection, okay? There's nothing by that, so you can still get the collection. But the bundle shows that um, it's retiring, sort of. If you go to here, you see the two little marks. Well, that means it's not retiring. What it is, is if you buy it now, you get the 10% because you're buying it in a bundle, right? But once a new catalog comes out, that may be in the catalog. I'm not saying it is. It will not be a bundle. So you're not going to save the 10%, okay? And then you have some items that are also 60% off. So this is your last chance item. Uh, I know it gets confusing. Just send me a message if you have any uh, questions. This happens to be the January to June sheet I'm showing you. And then, of course, we have the one for uh, the annual catalog. So just be careful when reading that. Um, you definitely, on the annual catalog, you're going to see a lot of them that are 10%, 20%, 30%, up to 60% off. One of the things that's going to go fast are the re-inkers uh, for the in-colors that are retiring. Anything for the in-colors that are retiring will sell out. So you want to get those orders in fast. Hi, Julie. Hi, Carolyn. Hey, Janice. All right, we're going to get started. So what I wanted to do today is um, I've done my Easter cards. Now I'm up to Mother's Day. And one of my, one of my favorite sets for Mother's Day, birthdays, anything for our friends, our female friends, okay, is this set, Strong and Beautiful. It's got such great sentiments. Of course, it's got the Happy Mother's Day, but any of these can be used for birthdays or inspiration for your friend. This set is retiring. Now, anybody that knows me, when I have my big open house retirement sale for the catalog, I get rid of anything or mostly anything that's retiring because I won't use it in my classes or on, on my uh, 
online here. Certain sets I won't get rid of. This is one of them. Can I ask where I can find the video of Shelly and... Uh, Julie, yeah, Julie, I will post that later on, okay? That is on your... You're a demonstrator, so go to your demonstrator webpage and you will be able to find that. If you can't, let me know. There are... What Julie's asking is a video that is not for everyone. It's just for demonstrators. You can actually join my team this month and be privy to all that information, including the um, PDF file of the new catalog that's coming out May 5th. I think it's May 5th. Don't hold me to these uh, dates. It's too early in the morning. So anyway, this set is one of my favorites, and this one is retiring. The other uh, set that you're going to see me use is the wrapped bouquet. I did a, a video on that one. I got some real shining going on with my lights here. Okay. Beautiful moments. Another one of my favorites. I'm not saying these are retiring. This one is, um, I'm not sure about this one. I'm still going through it all. So I apologize. All right, Julie, I will send it to you later. Okay. Just uh, send me a message. Okay. Beautiful moments. This is not retiring. And then what I'm going to be using is the Pattern Play Bundle, but I'm only going to be using the Playful Alphabet. This is not retiring. This is not retiring. I'm not sure about this one. I have to check. Okay. And this one is retiring. I'll have everything in the description. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to make one of those what I call um, block fun fold stair step cards. That's the best way I can explain it. But I wanted one that only had three steps. And you'll you'll understand what I'm talking about in a minute. Um, Linda Kutch sent me um, a, a card and I told her I would play around with it, but it wasn't exactly what I was looking for for this video because I only wanted it to have three parts to it. So this is what I came up with. The problem was my card is a six by six. We don't sell six by six envelopes, but I fixed that too. So the first thing I did, and I'm going to bring that up close, is I made this card. Now, this card is a six by six. I also made an envelope. However, the envelopes are being made with 12 by 12 paper, which means they are also six by six. So it was too small for this. This is all going to come together in the end. So I had to trim it down even more but I'm gonna show you how I did this. So this is a card I made for my mom for Mother's Day. God made you my mother, love made you my friend. And of course, there's that uh, those two sets. When you open it up, there's your stairs. And there it says mom. That's why I wanted three. I wanted three and I wanted it, I had a, a idea the way I wanted it. So this is the card. Now I'm gonna flip the camera real quick and show you what that would look like when she sets it up, okay? So it would look like that, and if you turn it, you can see the mom inside. So this is gonna work with anything that you have that is three letters. Now, for my mother-in-law, I have another idea. I didn't find the picture, that's why I'm not showing it to you. I'm gonna make her the same card, but instead of stamping here, I have a picture of my, my husband and his, little, his brother when they were little kids, and I'm gonna put a picture here. I will post that once I finish it. Uh, I'm still looking for that old picture. So there's my fold for today. Okay, so what I did with this card well, let's, let me show you the other samples before we get into um, doing that. So then I made another one, same basic card, but I cut it down just a tad on each side so that it would fit in a six by six envelope. Now, this may not be perfect, and I apologize. I cut it, you know, I, I did this, I measured everything myself, and you know me, I'm not that great at measuring. So this one, thinking of you, and there's those cute little, sweet little... Uh, kids, girls from the um, Beautiful Moments, which is supposed to be me and my sister. Happy Mother's Day. And inside, again, this is why I wanted three steps, is this is for my sister for Mother's Day. Okay. Good, uh, good morning, Carol. Hi, Kimberly. So happy Mother's Day. Thinking of you and sis. Okay, so that's another one I made with it. Then I needed some for my friends. I still have a few more to make. This one, of course, I made with the 
wrapped bouquet and the black and white designer series paper that's in the um, annual uh, January to June catalog. And I will show you that too. Uh, I will put the description of what I'm using. I cherish my true friend. This is what I'm saying. This stamp set with these sayings are just, you got to have them, right? I cherish you, my friend. I know I can always count on you. Now, this one opens up like this. Now, you see I didn't put anything on the stairs here. But I am actually going to put my friend Patty. I'm going to just put Pat in there. What do you think? You like this idea? And it's nice because it's a little bit bigger than a normal size card. And it looks, it'll looks it look so nice on somebody's um, dresser, TV, stand. And then here's another one. Same idea um, as the Mother's Day. This is, again, a Mother's Day for a friend. You are like a diamond, resilient, strong, and beautiful. And then, of course, there's nothing in there. So, again, this is what I call my three-step block fun fold. <laughs> okay? So, let me show you how I did that. Okay, so the first thing I started out with was a piece for the base, was a piece of cardstock. And I'm going to show you the measurements here. Let's move this out of the way. Please share my videos if you enjoy them. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please share them on YouTube. And leave me comments. Okay, so this is our 12 by 12 paper, and I cut it down six to 10. So it's a six by 10. Now, if I use these measurements, six by 10, it's going to come out to six by six card, which is not going to fit in a six by six envelope. So what I did was I turned it. I went down one notch. Let me just bring in that. Let me just see if I can. Okay, there we go. So what I did, I'm going to bring it over here so you can see it. There's my six, right? What I did was I just took it to that notch right there and just trimmed off an ever so slightly piece on the other side. So now it's right there. Okay. Then I did the same thing here. This is 10 by 10 or 10, 10 inches, right? There's the 10 inches. I just took it to that one little notch after that and just trimmed it down. Okay. Bring my camera back out so you can see me. Hi, Rita. Hi, Stacy. Oh, thanks, Stacy. So this is what I trimmed off. Very little pieces. I don't even know. Oh, the other little piece is in here. So small. Okay. Just, just a little bit on each side. And you could cut it down just a tad more if you wanted to, but you don't want to cut it down too much more than that because then my inside measurements aren't going to work for you okay so if you wanted to trim off just a hair more on there you can but those are that's how i did that all right the next part of this bring this up is i'm going to take this um base here i'm going to put it at the two inch mark and then i'm going to go from four inches right here all the way down to eight and i'm going to cut that Okay, so I'm going to put that, and I have to, hopefully my head's not in your way. I'm going to slice four all the way down to the eight. Okay. So there's my first slice. Okay. Then I'm going to flip it around so that that cut is on the right-hand side to the top. Put it back in there at the two-inch mark. Go back up to the four inch mark here. Drag it down to the eight. And what I have is these two slots. Okay. So remember, and the, I'll put all the directions, the dimensions and everything um, on how to do that in the description. Then I'm done with this. I'm gonna take my, my cutting blade out because I have a habit of cutting instead of scoring. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it to the two inch mark this way. Now here's the score. Here's those cut lines. Okay. And here's the 10 inch mark. I'm going to go to two inches. 
and I am going to score right down to that first cut. I want to make sure I can see it. Yep, I can see it. Okay. Two. Go all the way over to four. Go all the way down. After you do this a couple times, it's so easy. Then I'm going to go to six. So it's two, four, six. Go all the way down. Go over to eight. Now here's where it gets tricky. Here's the two inch just to that block or that cut. Four all the way down, six all the way down. Now I'm at the eight inch and I'm gonna go up to that first cut line. So I'm on the eight inch and I'm gonna go up to that cut line. And there's your scoring, that's it. Okay, so what you're going to do is you want to have this one, and I'll show you here if you can see it. Okay, so this piece, you're just going to play around with it a little bit. This piece gets bent out. So you're just going to play around with it until you get this one and this one. This one goes back. I start with this one and I push it this way. Okay, this one's gonna go that way. There we go, okay. So pinch it, pinch it, and then just push it down. Okay, did you see that? So that there's your stairs. Okay, and then I'm going to give it a good crisp burnishing. Again, remember, I, I made these. Um, I couldn't find exactly what I was looking for. I did find online something similar with the 8 by uh, 6 by 10 which I took and cut down and then made my own. And there's my card. may not be perfect, but I like it. Okay, then what I did was I made myself a template of a piece of scrap paper for the top. So just do this again and cut this piece here. And there's your template and you just cut it down as small as, as large or small as you want it. So there's my template. Okay, just make yourself a template. I'm gonna bring in my designer series paper. I am going to line this up. So for the template, I made, like I said, I cut that out, but then I trimmed off just a tad on it until I got it where I wanted it so I could have a little bit of border. I hope that makes sense. Sometimes I'm not that great at explaining things. So I'm going to take this and just cut this. See, I'm whoop, just taking a pencil that I can erase this later. There's my steps on my front piece. Hey Angie! And then I'm going to just trim this. So I'm going to start here and you can actually cut it with your your um, paper trimmer if you want to get some straight lines first. So I'm going to put this right here because this is going to get cut all the way off. So I'm taking that first line that I Cut. Might make it a little bit easier. And there's my other stair. And then you can just cut inside. So I'm just trimming the, what I don't need off. That was a little messed up. So there we go. Okay, so there's, there's the piece. Just keep watching. Watch the video again if I didn't explain it too well. And then this part, unfortunately, it's harder to put that in the paper trimmer. So... I'm just freehanding this, and I am going to cut this out. I'm actually going to do it again so you'll be able to see it. You can see I'm just cutting it. What do you think about the card? Did you like it? Yeah, the DSP, yes. This is so pretty, and it's going to be going away because this is in the January to June catalog. And that will be retired. Okay, so here is anything that has, you can still see the 
pencil marks. You're just going to erase that. Oh, and I did pretty good. Okay. And you see that fits right there with just a subtle little border. So before I forget where I'm putting it, let's put that down first. And I'm going to do it again. I'm going to show you why. Okay. Again, uh, I will put everything in the description, and if you're watching this later on YouTube, it's already there. Okay, I'm just going to add that right there. Okay, so there's that the front. Now I'm going to take that leftover piece, and I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to do the same thing. Here, of course, it's already cut the size I want there, so I'm just going to... Put some marks here. Now, this is a really light side, so you want to make sure you cut that off. I'm just trimming that. And go all the way off and then just trim it in here. Sometimes it's just nice having a little bit bigger card, especially for older people because they can see it better. And I know my mother and my mother-in-law in particular like to keep their cards up where they can see them. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is perfect for that because <clears throat> it's a larger card. So there's, <clears throat> there's the pa paper. Same thing, right? But what I'm going to do with this one is I'm flipping it the other way and I'm going to use it on the inside just like that. Now this I want to trim down just a tad more. Remember I said you're just going to have to trim just a little bit off until you get it exactly where you want it depending on how much border you want. Everybody's different as far as how much border they want. So again this is the same piece but I'm flipping it and I'm going to put it inside there and it fits perfect. I hope you're enjoying this. Whoop. All right, I'm going to lay this lay this flat so I can put that right in there. I had so much fun making these cards. There we go. And there's my card. Now all I have to do is embellish it. So I'm using Poppy Parade. And what I've got with this is um, nestled stitch dies. And I think these are retiring, aren't they? Somebody tell me, are these retiring? Like I said, I'm still going through that list. It takes me a good week to go through that list. So what I'm going to do is for this one, I'm going to put this right here. Right on that step right there. I need another card for a friend for, actually, I'm going to do this one for my mother-in-law. I am going to put a picture eventually in here, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'll put it right here, and then I can always add a picture on this step. So for, the, for right now, I'm just going to put this right here. We'll just go with that. Okay, so I am going to grab that God made you my mother. Love, uh, love made you my friend. Because this is for my mother-in-law, and that can also be for my guy, right? Okay. Now, the other thing I want to do is I am going to grab from the Beautiful Moments. Um, let's see, maybe the little birds. I'm just going to put some, I just want something else on this front. So I'm going to add some of the birds here and some here. All right. I am going to go ahead and put this down with dimensionals. Here's my dimensionals. I'm not seeing any comments. Everybody's still awake. Don't forget at the end, I will be doing a giveaway. I want to make sure you're there. I know it's early, and if you're in New York or it is a rainy morning, 
Okay, I'm gonna put this right here. So now I have that as a 3D, and this is gonna get layered right here. Now make sure you have it right there. You don't want it too far up, so maybe one or two of these adhesive there. I'm gonna put it right there. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in that piece again. I'm gonna bring in a strip that I have. Let's see if I can find one that's already made from my scraps. Ah, thanks, Angie. Hey, Gail, how are you? Happy Mother's Day. I'm gonna take my Poppy Parade three quarters of an inch. And then of course use my, whoop, use my banner punch, which I forgot to grab. Okay, well, I'm not sure where the banner, banner punch is, so we're gonna grab one of these other ones. I'm just gonna snip part of this off and do it this way. I like to have a little cute little edge here. And we'll do the opposite side for this one. See if I like that. Yeah. I'm going to do that again. I think I want the other edge here. So I love these these banner punches. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's good. All right. Going to grab some dimensions. Yes, Val. Your name will fit on those three steps. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> oh, thanks, Gail. So happy to, 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 that you caught me live. I can't wait to see you. Okay. And we are going to cut this right here. And now we have the Happy Mother's Day that's going to go right there. And then this could be, this is where you're going to put whatever sentiment you want and sign it. And then of course, some embellishments. Let's see what embellishments we have here. I think I might do sequins on this one. Just because I did rhinestones and everything else on the other one. Let's see what sequins we have here. So I think those are gonna go nice on this. These are the artistry balloons. Now remember, if you have Happy Mother's Day on the front, you can use another sentiment inside. I actually didn't cut that, but I did cut my other pieces, which are missing. Not sure why. Oh, I know why. Okay, we gotta go over here. I'm not finished with that yet. Let's wait on the sequence. So here are my pieces from the uh, Playful Alphabet that I already did. And I am gonna take that designer series paper and I'm gonna make myself three pieces. There's my two inch mark. Again, just one notch below that because you don't want it too large. I almost forgot to do the stairs. So I need three of those designer series pieces. Okay. And they are going to go right inside here. And I'm just going to glue those down. Should have glued it down before that one, but you see what I mean. You'll see it in a second. Almost forgot the mom. How could I forget that? That's the reason I wanted to do three steps. Okay, so we're going to put that right there. Open it up. Flatten that out and do the others. Uh, yes, it would be a great card for nursing home residents. Okay. And here's my mom. Now, I could have used the adhesive backing before, the uh, foam backing before I uh, cut those out, but I wasn't really thinking. So I just cut them out by themselves. I'm going to grab one of my circle punches. So give me one second. And those circle punches are being retired. I don't know why I didn't have this over here already. 
So sorry about that. So this is my one and a quarter punch. And I am just going to cut out some circles. I need three. Go ahead and do that. Now, like I said, I should have used the adhesive backing, but I didn't. So we're just going to go with this. I'm going to take my Tombow. And I am just going to flip. Actually, you don't have to flip them over because it's going to be the same on each side. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to put mom on here. Oh, thank you, Carol. Thank you, Angie. Yeah, and it's such an easy card to make. Nice, cute, fun fold. And it, like I said, I wanted something a little bigger for them. Okay, so once that's uh, done, we're going to take some dimensionals. We're just going to put those on the back. I know why I'm using my fingers this morning. I have my take your pick tool here somewhere. So I'm spinning my new spinner carousel around. It's making me dizzy this morning. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, so here we go. Truth be told, I got up a little late this morning. Like I said, it's a rainy day in New York. It was a good day for napping or sleeping late. Okay, so we're just going to pull that all off. Yes, Angie, you may case my card. I would be honored. And then I'm just going to put the mom, the first M in there. Then we've got the O. I'm going to show you how to make an envelope for this, too, because remember, it's not going to fit in our standard size envelopes because it's larger. <clears throat> and which is the reason I cut it down from the original size. So there's my card. Now I'm going to bring in some sequins, artistry blooms, make it pop. I want that color right there. I have a specific color in mind. And I'm just going to put some sequins around here. So there's that. I'm not going to put any here because I am going to use another sentiment or uh, uh, this is where I'm going to put maybe the picture of my husband and his brother when they were little. I'll cut it. I'll frame it this way. I will, when I find that picture, I will uh, take a picture of it and put it on my blog and my Facebook page. Unfortunately, it's been sitting on my desk for probably years and now when I'm looking for it, it's not there. So there's my card. You can see the sequins. And then I'll make it th this exact um, replica. I will put either here or I can even stick it on here. But I would probably put it right inside here. So when she opens it up. Yes, you may share it to your group too. Absolutely. Best compliment. And then when she looks at it this way, it says mom. Okay, now for the envelope. Because it doesn't fit in our standard size envelopes, I took a piece of Blushing Bride, 12 by 12. And what I did was I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. I'm going to go to the 3 inch mark. I'm going to flip it. Do 3 inches on each side. Ah, I cut it. I knew that was going to happen. Let me grab another sheet. You know we always do that. Well, I don't know about you, but I always do that. That's why I always have another one waiting in the wings. Okay, we are going to take that paper cutter out of there. So we're going to start again. We're going to do three. by three
You like the Poppy Parade better than the... Oh, and that's the other thing I wanted to mention. The first couple of cards I did or showed you were in the um, Pretty Peacock, and that is retiring. All right. So I what I did was I scored it on all the edges, all, three inches on all the edges. And then I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to... Give it a good crisp edging here. Okay, so now I have this square. Now if you take your card, you'll see that it fits right inside there. And that's the reason why I had to cut it down a notch. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am just going to do this freehand. It's an envelope. It's going to get thrown out, maybe. Okay, so I am just going to cut this as straight as possible, which for me in this light color is not easy. So I'm going to cut this notch out. I'm going to cut this notch. Again, I will have still shots on Facebook and also my blog, stampersdelight.com, later today. I can't cut straight. How about you? Especially when I'm doing it live. How many stamps would I use? I'd probably say he, at least two. For us, I don't even know what stamps are um, because I get the forever stamps. <laughs> I think they're 50 cents a piece. I'm going to say this would cost you at least a dollar to mail. So for me, these are more card, more like cards that I would hand out. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do, and I'm not sure where I put it. So, let, oh, there it is. I am going to round out some edges using the trio punch. So these pieces are gonna go inside. Now, get them as close as you can. There might be a little bit of a gap there, but it's okay. I'm gonna slide that in the trio punch here, and I'm gonna round out those edges. I'm gonna close that up, and this is gonna be my bottom flap. So you got to be careful. If there's a little gap there, you don't want to put any glue there. So what I did was I did this, this, and whoop, you can't see it. So I did this, 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 and I left this with very little glue because depending on how close you get that, you don't want it to stick together. You just go. Then I'm going to take this edge and do the same thing. And that'll fold up this way. You can then take your bone folder and give it a good crisp burnish. And then the card will fit right in there. It, it is a little tight, a little snug, but it, it will fit. Okay, so we're just going to slide that in. And because it's bulky, it takes a few minutes, but there we go. And then we have the envelope for that beautiful card. Well, never mind my comment about needing a tool to make an envelope. I can hand I can handle a paper trimmer. <laughs> okay, Tammy. So again. And then we're going to pull that out so I can show you the other ones that I did. So there we have the card. Hey, Win Ann. The card, Mother's Day card with the envelope. Again, let me bring in the other ones that I did. So here's one more. This is the one I did for uh, my girlfriend. And you can see I did a white envelope for that. You can see I had fun with these. You can also do uh, designer series paper the same way. It's 12 by 12. Okay. I have another. Now this white, I'll show you this one. This is the same idea, but I didn't use the um, 
the trio punch and round it. I tried to cut the edges. I, I just don't like the way, I didn't really like the way that came out. I mean, I'll use it. Okay, but I think this looks much more polished by using those co that corner punch. And here's the black one, black and white one. Here is the cis one. And when I flip the camera, I'll show them to you again. You can see I made, here's a couple other envelopes I did a different way. Cut the edges this way. You know, look like that kind of an envelope. But again, to me, I thought this one came out more polished. So I did make different envelopes. I tried different things. And of course, here was, this was the first one I made for my mom. What'd you think? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Trudy. Okay, I am going to flip the camera. So again, let's take a look at them standing up. And inside, mom. And the one we just did, I'll show you that one again. Now remember, this is going to have a picture. Whoop, this is going to have a picture of my husband. And then mom. You like the black and white one, huh? Yeah, I like black and white too. And then, of course, our matching envelope. It is going to take extra postage. So you want to check with your post office. But to me, it's worth it to send a nice card like that. Oh, thanks, Denise. Thank you all so much. So don't forget to look at the retiring list. Get your orders in. Monday night on YouTube, I will be giving away that last embossing, mini embossing machine. Although I may have a surprise in April. We'll see. Okay. So for today, don't forget to leave your comments, 55 cents on the stamp. Maybe I can figure out how to cut it down a tad more so I don't have to use the extra stamps. <laughs> that would be good. Okay. I would love to see it if you, if you get it down to our regular size, which is what I was going to try to do, but then I felt kind of fell in love with this. All right. So let's get to the giveaway. So again, oh, thanks, Stacy. So tonight... What I have, or this morning, what I have is another rare old woodblock set. It is new. It's not, I mean, it's not a new set. It's from 1999. So these are rare sets. And these were donated by my friend Stacy P. Um, for me to give use as giveaways because she loves the videos. Thank you, Stacy P. This is called Country Collection. Anybody remember that set? Such a cute set, and it still goes with a lot of our sets we have today. There's the apples. We have that apple punch. There's the rooster. Could go with the hay chicks. It's a cute little fun set. This is wood mounted. Remember, you don't have to wood mount it. You can use our cling adhesive sheets and make it into a cling set. So I'm going to tell you to guess a number from 1 to 25. The first one who guesses the number that I've already got on the back here wins it. So 1 to 25, go ahead. And I'm just going to grab a sip of my coffee while I'm waiting for you to guess. Everybody likes the black and white one. They are. Black and white is just very elegant. Okay, so waiting for some guesses here. Who's going to win this cute little set? Carol Davis, first one. Carol Davis, number seven. Carol Davis won it right out, at, right out of the gate. Okay, you can stop guessing. Carol Davis, this is yours. Send me your address. You can email it to me or um, instant message me. Carol Davis is the winner tonight. I'll be giving away another set on my Monday YouTube Live. Okay, so thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great, great weekend. And enjoy, stay safe. I'll see you back here Monday night, but don't forget my videos that I put out on Sunday, Scrapbook Sunday 101. Have a great weekend, everybody. Keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.